Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Here we have a Hamtech PC oscilloscope. This is model 6022BE. Yeah, um, it wasn't particularly expensive. I'll look up uh, how much it was in a minute. In a box, you get a Hamtech oscilloscope, various cables, more cables, um, and a CD! Don't they understand? Nothing has a CD player these days. Anyway, for our tests today, we're just going to use a few cables and a few bits and bobs. Do, 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 do. Okay, uh, seller, best deal zones. I paid 42 quid for this. Um, is it worth 42 quid? It is the lowest spec model they make. 20 megahertz, 20 megahertz. So yeah, uh, let's see. Righto, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, plug this thing in. I like reading instructions. Um, okay, so we've got two BNC ports on the front of it and what look like two little calibration tabs here. Uh, one of them is ground and the other one is a signal. Uh, one kilohertz square wave, two volts peak to peak. Okay, so the first problem that we face for super duper computers like mine, the digital device driver hasn't got a digital signature. Um, so yeah, well that sort of sucks, doesn't it? Okay, the good news, I have a little Windows 10 type tablet type thing. I can't remember what these are called, something pro. I don't know, people are gonna moan at me for not knowing what this computer is now, aren't they? Oh, boom, look at that. We've plugged it in and we've got waveforms on the screen. That's encouraging. Well, uh, without further ado. Ooh, that's not encouraging. Everything rattles and moves around inside the box. Okay, let's see if we can get... Ooh, oh, well that's even more encouraging. We appear to have a square wave taking place. Uh, right, okay, well, let's, uh, let's just... Uh, Let's just increase the trigger level. There appears to be a little T on this side here. Uh, okay, well that's not working. Let's try it with a the mouse. There we go. That's... Let's go for, oh and look at that. Boom, too, apparently too many background apps can drain your battery. So let's just get you dialed in on this a little bit better, but we have something that sort of works. Um, so, uh, many different functions in the software, and um, we've got two channels here, and we've got many different types of uh, um, trigger mode. Uh, at the moment, we're just in auto mode and we're triggered on channel one. We have here, hopefully, you can see me wiggling that around, we have a trigger level. There we go, we're out of trigger level there. Get that back in. Ooh, look at that. Oh, ah, ooh, scope has stopped working. And uh, it's a little disappointing. Uh, again, Hantech, quite disappointing. Uh, every time I adjust the trigger level, um, and if I take the trigger level below the channel two trigger, um, uh, things just things just stop working. Uh, we could potentially do it. Oh look! Oh oh! It stopped working again. 
Uh, yeah, hand tech. Um, this is an issue. All right, okay. Uh, we're not going to go any further with that. Do do do. Let's take it apart. Take it apart. Take it apart. Oh, get the screwdrivers. Okay, so just the other day, I was at uh, Aldi and um, they sold me, or I bought from them, a kit of many screwdriver bits for much cheapness. I think this was 11 99 There's some 80 bits in here. Quite a lot of them are um, security bits as well. So hopefully, we should be able to do almost anything with this. Right, let's just get rid of all of those cables. So the, the thing that I noticed earlier, when I connected this, I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'll zoom you in a little bit so you can see it. Yeah. Everything just seems to rattle around inside this box. Right, well, I think we'll go, oh yeah, we'll just go brute force and ignorance, I think, here. Um, Right, we've got two really useful functions on this uh, printed circuit board. As you can see, I am observing all of my uh, static handling uh, requirements. So, first really useful function, there's a spring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Second really useful function, there's another spring-a-ding-ding. Yeah, I reckon we could, uh, I reckon it's worth £41.99p just for those two springs. We've got about 12 lumps of silicon on board here. Um, yeah, this is obviously the microprocessor. £1.99p. At the moment, this is going to go in the bin. I think I'll get in touch with Hantec and see if uh, they can offer up some advice on uh, what I can do to uh, stop the software from crashing. Okay, uh, cheers for watching. Um, today, I don't suggest uh, bothering with one of these. You might as well spend the extra hundred quid and buy yourself a decent second hand scope. Cheers.